اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس لیکچر از ا کنٹینیویشن اف اور لاسٹ لیکچر اون والویشن ان دی لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈیڈ انٹروڈکشن ٹو والویشن وئر وی کنسیڈر اونلی ا فیشو والو اف ان اماؤنٹ اینڈ پریزنٹ والو اف ان اماؤنٹ In this lecture, we are going to look at a um, basic thing. Uh, we are going to look at issue that deals with multiple cash flow. Unlike the last lecture where we discussed single cash flow, that is an amount or lump sum. So this lecture specifically, we are going to cover uh, future value with an even multiple cash flow, present value of an even multiple cash, cash flow. That is where the cash flow are not the same. Then we are going to look at the uh, present value of even or level multiple cash flow, which is term annuity. Under that, we'll see how you can find a new payment, how we can find the number of payments, how we can find rate. And uh, we also look at the future value of an annuity. Then we'll talk about annuity where payments are made at the beginning of the period. Most of the examples we'll be doing from here are those that payments are made at the end of the period. Then we we'll talk about perpetuity, where payment continue forever. So it's a going to it's going to be a loaded uh, lecture. We have uh, we have uh, 31 slides that we are going to go through. Then we also have Excel, where we are going to demonstrate how to do all the things we are going to do. We will be using Excel to demonstrate. Also, we are going to be using financial calculator. In the last lecture, there were issues where I, could, I forgot how to clear work. So I've gone back and learned it and checked my calculator again. I was supposed to say second function and clear work before I start. That was why, because of the work it has saved in the memory, we are getting wrong answer. We are going to be using financial calculator. So, also to do that, in case you want to get a financial calculator on your phone, you can you you can go to your uh, to your Play Store and download BA calculator so that you can play with it. Or you use Blue Stack on your uh, on your laptop to download, uh, and you can download this. That is how I got the financial calculator. Mostly, they are supposed to be paid for. So we we'll start right away. The uh, future value with an even cash flow. So far, we have looked at uh, future value of a lump sum of, of a single amount. So, this lecture, we are going to look at uh, an even cash flow. That is, cash flow that uh, not a single cash flow, but cash flow that occur at multiple for multiple time, but they are not the same. So, we uh, give an example, suppose you deposit 100 Naira today in an account that pay 8%. So, and at the end of the year, you deposit another 200 Naira. So you can see the cash flow is not even 100 Naira, 200 Naira. So at the end of the first year, this 100 Naira will earn 8% interest. So that is when you multiply plus the 200 Naira, you have 308 Naira. Naira. So the 8 Naira on top is the interest on the 100 Naira. Now at the end of the second year, you have 308 Naira which you are going to accumulate for another year using 8%. So if you if you also compound it with 8%, this will amount to 332 Naira 64 Kobo. So this can be represented on the number line. So whenever we have complicated uh, problem it is always good we use number line to represent them so anytime you are having trouble 
then try to use the number line so the uh, alternatively this uh, problem can be solved this way first you look for the future value of 100 naira for two years that is if you go back if this is one two at eight percent then 200 naira for one year so if you check 100 naira for two years you have this 200 naira for one year you have this when you add the two together you can confirm that this answer is the same thing is the same thing as uh, the answer we have here so the based on this there are two ways either you compile the accumulated balance for one year at a time like we did earlier or you calculate the future value of each of them like this one 100 naira for two years 200 naira for one year when you add them together you sum them together you have uh, the value so both of them will give the the answer so if uh, i give exercise here which will go to excel to demonstrate how to solve it you think you'll be able to deposit 40,000 naira at the end of each year. 40,000 at the end of each year for three years. In a bank account paying 8%. You currently have 70,000. Currently, at time zero, you have 70,000. Then, at the end of the first year, you deposit 40,000. At the end of the second year, you deposit 40,000. At the end of the third year, you deposit 40,000. So how much will you have in three years? That is the future value of 70,000 and 40,000 three times. So let, if we go to Excel, if we go to our Excel, uh, you see that the 70,000 is at time zero. The 40,000 three times, this is it. So if you find the future value of this, we are going to find the future value for three years. That is why I put the three here. So let's say this is uh, our T. This is our T. So the first 70,000 will earn interest one, two, three. Yes. The first 40,000 will earn interest for two years. This will earn interest for one year. This will not earn any interest. That's why I put the time here. So if we use our future value formula, uh, future value formula. You can see that uh, let's make it bolder so future value formula equal fv tab rate our rate is eight percent we are going to lock it we touch f4 to lock it comma our number of period for this it's three years that is why we put the three here three comma our payment, we don't have payment. You put another comma. Our present value is the 70,000. Then we enter. So uh, this is the future value. Uh, I'm coming. We we'll just need to edit it again. Our, our cash flow is going to be negative because it's cash outflow. So enter. So this is positive. So if we copy it down, drag it down we have this so the 40,000 in uh, the first 40,000 will give us 70,000 will give us a future value of this 46,000 will give us a future value of this and 40,000 in two years will give us future value of this this will give us future value of this the last one will not end any interest so if you add it together at the end of the third year we will have $218,000.35, cents. Uh, so that is how we can calculate that. So if we go further, uh, to look at present value of an even cash flow, like future value, there are also two ways. Either you discount them backward one at a time, or we calculate the present value individually and then add them up. So, if for example, you need 100,000 in one year and 2,000 in two years, if you can earn 9% on your money, 
how much do you have to put up today to exactly cover this amount in the future you know that will always is the present value of the two cash flow at nine percent interest so now two thousand in two years will get the present value backward two years so the present value at nine percent is divided by 1.09 raised to power two so the present value of 2000 in two years is this the present value of 1000 in one year is you discount it with 1.09 that is the nine percent interest you have 917 so by the time you add these two you have you need 2600 naira 79 kobo to be able to withdraw 1000 in the first year and 2000 in the second year so if we invest 2600 for one year at nine percent this for one year at nine percent it will amount to this if we remove the 1000 that we remove in one year the balance will be this and this balance will be reinvested for nine percent who invest it for nine percent you can see it amount to two thousand which is the amount you need in the second year so uh, this example illustrates that the present value is a series of cash of future cash flow is simply the amount the present value of a series of future cash flow is simply the amount that you would need today in order to exactly duplicate those future cash flow for a given discount rate an alternative way of calculating present value for multiple cash flow is to discount back to the present one period at a time. So I give an exam exercise which we are going to excel to show how to do it. I say in 2014, a player's contract, which is valued at $121 million, call for 13 million signing bonus immediately immediately present they will pay him 13 million naira the remaining 108 if you remove 13 min 121 minus 13 is 108 million is to be paid like this 12.4 million naira in 2014 14.3 million naira in 2016 18.5 million naira in 2017 19 million naira in 2018, 20 million naira in 2019, and 23 million naira in 2020. So, if 12% is the appropriate discount rate, what kind of deal did the player get? So, to know the kind of deal he gets, we have to find the present value of all these series of payments. So, it means we will discount this one back one year, this one back two years, this one back three years, like that. So, let's go to our Excel and display this. So, um, this is the this is the question. Uh, they pay thirty million. They will pay the remaining balance this way. So, if you add them together, it amount to one twenty one million. So, uh, this is immediately. So, we don't need to. It's going to collect this immediately. So, if we use our present value equal. Let's make it bolder. We'll make it bolder so that it can see. So I think it's bolder now. Now equal present value tap. Our rate is twelve percent. Since we are going to apply for all, we'll lock it pressing F four, comma our period this one is immediately zero comma our payment our payment is uh, our our payment we don't have payment comma our future value fv is uh, thirteen thousand dollar so we put negative so that we'll get positive value. Then type, we don't have type, we enter. So 13,000, immediately you can see it amount to 13,000. So if we drag it down, this will apply to all. So if you see, you can see this for one year, 12%. 
the same thing if we go to this one this for four years in four years you discount it for four years at 12 percent so um if we add it together the worth of the contract now is 84 million one hundred sixty nine thousand seventy three dollar forty eight cent so this is the word now meanwhile this is what the contract is carrying you can see a with discounting you can see you know the actual value of uh, 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 an investment or of a contract so we'll move further we can use calculator also to do this computation uh, I gave this question maybe the one I just the one we just saw all you do if you are using calculator is you do for each of them for each of them once you do for each then you add them together so you can use spreadsheet which I have demonstrated so this is one of the question this question we solve with spreadsheet this is what the formula look like in the spreadsheet so and this was the solution so we can try on our own and see now uh, a little note on the on even uh, multiple cash flow before we go to level cash flow so in working present and future value cash flow timing is very very important in almost in all the calculation it is implicitly assumed that our cash flow occur at the end of the period in fact all the formula we have discussed excel calculator or the formula we have written we are assuming that cash flow whether future value or present value occur at the end of the period so it is important uh, for us to note this that if it is at the beginning of the period we have to readjust our uh, computer or uh, calculator or spreadsheet unless you are explicitly told you should also assume that this is it is at the end of the period now valuation of a uh, level cash flow or what you call annuities and perpetuities now in real life we encounter such problem situation where the multiple cash flow are the same amount so for example a very common type is a loan a repayment issue of amortization and this calls for the borrower to repay the loan by making a series of equal payment for some length in time so this kind of equal payment or receipt at equal interval for a specified period is what we call annuity so that is what we call annuity so when payment or receipt are equal at same interval forever forever it is called perpetuity now for perpetuity that is there is no ending date so uh, what is important here that I will take note is that the payments they are equal the interval of the payment also uh, are equal and uh, there is a fixed period of time for annuity but for perpetuity the payment or received are equal the interval are equal but it does not have a fixed period it is forever so example is uh, 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 preference share so irredeemable preference share is an example of perpetuity we also have console like bond console which we'll look later the two types of annuity that we have are ordinary annuity and annuity due for ordinary annuity we have annuity where payment are made at the end of the period that is what is referred to as ordinary annuity for annuity due payments are made at the beginning of the period so that means you earn one interest more than the ordinary annuity the annuity appear very frequently in financial arrangement and there are some useful shortcut for determining their value and that is what we will look at here now first we start with present value of an annuity uh, suppose we're examining an asset that promised five hundred dollar at the end of each of the next three years so you can see the payment is the same the year also is the same 
you understand and the period is three years the cash flow from this asset are in the form of three years five hundred dollar ordinary annuity if we want to earn ten percent interest on this money how much should we offer for this annuity today that is a uh, present value so all you do is you discount 500 naira backward backwards backward three times so you can see for the first year for the second year for the third year when you add them together you have the present value of the annuity so this work fine but if the cash flow is large for instance this payment is for 30 years doing this 300 times might be uh, uh, might be tedious so this can be done using formula excel or calculator so for example ordinary annuity problem can be solved using this formula uh, this is the formula the c here is the annuity payment or pmt that we'll see later in our excel so this is the formula uh, this part of the formula is what we have in the table so there are table for ordinary uh, present value factor there are table for annuity factor as well this factor is for this part of the formula that is this part of the formula so if you are calculating present value of annuity you multiply the c times the table value so let's have a glimpse of the table so this is present value table of an annuity this is the factor that we use to get this value so this is for 20 percent and uh, 20 period 20 period you cannot say year where it could be 20 months so that is the table we will demonstrate how to use it also now for present value of an annuity cash flow this is the table that i showed earlier five percent five years if you go back five percent five years 4.3295 4.3295 so that is it so now what is the present value of 500 dollar per year for three years if the discount rate is 10 percent let's go to our excel and see how we do it first if we go to our excel so what is the present value of $500 per year for three years if the discount rate is 10%? The payment is $500. That is the PMT, the C in that formula. The rate is 10%. This X is a um, compounding period because it's per year. That is why we put one here. So if you multiply this by this, no, if you divide this by this, that is what you get. So this R, that is what we are going to be using. Then the T is uh, we are supposed to multiply uh, three times the compounding period which will get three so the present value uh, let's let's find equal present value so rate the rate is uh, this comma the number of period is n comma the payment this is where we are going to be using this pmt now because it's annuity the pmt has value now so minus because it's going to be outflow this then we don't have fv for type if it is ordinary annuity let's go there another comma now you can see time type so for at the end of the period you put zero at the beginning of the period you put one so this at the end of the period we put zero so enter this is the answer one two four three so let's go back and check our answer we have done earlier this is the answer here so we with uh, excel we can do it like that now let's go and see with uh, our calculator with our calculator uh, whether we we'll get the same value let's go to our calculator and see so let's clear the work first uh, our 
payment is 500 which is going to be negative 500 zero, zero, negative is PMT you click PMT our uh, n is 3 3 that is n our rate is 10 percent 10 this is it then we are going to compute present value so you press compute and press pv so you can see the answer is the same you can see the answer is the same with what we have in our excel let's let's see let's see and compare them one two four three point four three so there's one four four three yes approximately that is the answer so that is how we use calculator and excel uh, you can also use the formula so we use the pv formula and i have defined them clearly here pmt is the annuity payment which is 500 dollar the rate n per pv fv and uh, like that so the uh, another this is the example we have solved and we have the answer i've used the calculator also and i've used excel so if you use table if we go back to our table this is 10 percent under three let's go to our table and see 10 percent 10 percent under three this is the value here this is the value that is a uh, 2.4869 let's go 2.4869 once you multiply you have this value so those are the various ways you can solve this problem and then um, the next thing is uh, if you have other value sometimes you may want to know the payment for instance we have talked about um, amortization earlier you know how much you are collecting you know how much you pay how much will you be uh, will you be paying at regular interval that is the c so you can make c the subject of formula from our formula here if you want the c to be formula then you divide this by this factor so that is how you can use the formula so that is how we got this uh, value so you can use table also to find the value uh, you get the value from the table you so then you can use excel the pmt function in excel and you can use the financial calculator so let's take example and demonstrate this so suppose you wish to do a new business and specialize you need hundred thousand dollar unlikely this particular you propose to pay off the loan quickly by making five equal installment if the interest rate is this what will be what is the payment going to be if you are using formula you put the 18 percent in the formula divide the hundred thousand by this factor so this factor also can be gotten from the table this is 18 percent under how many years five so you get this value you divide and you get that value so you need to make 32,000 naira ish in the next three years so now let's use other method to confirm our this let's go back to our excel if you go to our excel this is the same question so hundred thousand is the money you are collecting now you pay 18 percent this is the 80 percent the one here is per year then the n is uh, five for five years so if we use payment function equals to pmt tab rate our rate is 18 percent comma our period is five comma our present value is minus this then we don't need future value we don't need type we'll press enter so we need approximately 13 1 nine seven seven point seven eight so if you compare this with the answer here you compare this with the answer here you can see they are the same so you can use your calculator to do it if you want to use our calculator you can use our calculator to do it if you want to use our calculator to do it uh, 18 percent five 
100,000. Let me bring on our calculator. Let's clear the work first. Second function clear. Second function clear. So we have a uh, rate is 18%. 18. Clear. 18. That is our rate. The year is 5, 5. And the payment is 100,000. 100. One, two, three, five. Negative. Don't forget is outflow. That is our PMT. Then, no, that is not our PMT. I'll have to clear it again and start all over. I think the computer is hanging. What is the problem? So, it's hanging. Maybe we'll come back to that so that we don't waste time. Then, uh, that is how you can find the volume. Let's check again. Yeah. So, let's clear work. Of cleared work rate 18 percent 18 that is rate 5 that is n 100 1 2 3 4 5 ne uh, negative that is our present value compute payment 31 you can see clearly that is giving us the same answer so those are the ways we can do it using those methods. So we, the next thing we'll do is how to calculate the number of payments. That is T. So suppose you need to know how long it will take or the number of payments in an annuity, giving the annuity payment, rate of returns and the PV. So this can be achieved by solving for T. The easiest way is to use financial calculator or the end path function in Excel. The end path function in Excel. Uh, if we have this example, you put 100,000 in your credit card for vacation. You can only afford to make minimum of $20 per month. If the interest rate is 1.5% per month, how long will you need to pay off the $1,000? So you can use the formula if you do it like this you do it this way you put the volume present value factor you know we know our rate you put the rate 1.5 percent then you get this you get this 1.015 equals to this if you solve for t you get uh, t equals to 93 so that means you take 7.75 here now if we go to our excel let's go to the excel and see we'll go to the excel this is the question we want to know the t so we'll say equal n par n par function rate our rate is 1.5 percent they already say per month so it's not in year and we are changing it to a uh, month so we we'll divide it by 12 again no yes i can use that but let me use this comma our payment negative this is our payment uh, our present value is this enter you can see we have 93.1110051 so this is how we can use excel if you want to use calculator let's go to our calculator first of all let's clear let's clear the work from the memory so our pmt is 20 minus 20 
So we have 20 negative PMT. Our rate is 1.5. 1.5 this is rate our our rate is 1.5 our present value is 1000 so one one two three that is the present value we want to compute t so you press compute you press n so 93 you can see the answer is the same so the answer is the same so if you want to convert this is 93 month if you want to convert it to a you say equals to this divided by 12 so in year it will take 7.75925 years to be able to pay back this so let's go further we have demonstrated the calculator also have demonstrated excel so now finding rate we can also want to know the rate uh, to solve this you solve for r in the formula or use the other method we said now if for example an insurance company offer to pay 1000 per year for 10 years if you pay this upfront what is the rate implicit so we have the value this is 10, 10 years we have the rate which is um, uh, um, uh, we don't know the rate if we input and we solve we solve we have to either check the table we can use the table to do or we use try and error to get the r so we use the try but alternatively we can just go I use our Excel and calculator. If we are using the calculator, let me bring it. Let's clear. Second function AC. If we are using the calculator, uh, our rate, uh, our N is 4. 4, we have N. 4 years. 1000 uh, we borrow 3000 that is our our present value is 3000 our payment is 1000 so 3000 that is what we present value we will repay 1000 negative because that is outside now compute what is the rate we have 12.58 or 59 percent look at the value here we can use the rate function in excel use this find rate this is the value where is the rate here equal rate tab number of period 10 comma payment negative because it's outflow comma present value is this show value type there is no need to enter so eight percent less less let me open it up small let's see um, let's increase the decimal so it's eight percent it's eight percent so that is uh, the answer the answer no this is the rate twelve percent the rate i got using calculator is different 12.59 percent let me go back and do it again on our excel no it's a different question it's a different question it's a different question yeah it's a different question so the insurance this what is the rate term 10 years so this is a different question anyway so the one I use calculator is quite different.
a period is 10 years suppose a relative of yours so i use a different one but the answer is correct now future value of an annuity for future value of an annuity uh, uh, you can use calculator excel like we said for the formula this is the formula you can use table using this factor suppose you plan 2000 every year you pay into retirement account paying eight percent if you do this for 30 years how much will you have we we'll go to our excel uh, we we'll go to our excel uh, this is the one i was looking for the rate earlier so we can try it ourselves at home now uh, you you plan two thousand every year you pay into a retirement account pay eight percent if you retire in 30 years, how much will you have in 30 years? That is the future value. So you say equals to FV. So the rate is 8%. I'm going to use this comma. Uh, period is 30, comma. Payment is 2000 minus this then we press enter so this is the what in 20 years you can use our calculator so we use our calculator we clear the work this this we clear first so let's see from our calculator i will do the future volume so the first thing is the payment which is 2000 two one two three don't forget it's an outflow you put negative we press pmt we have percent eight percent eight we press this don't forget i did not write this eight as 0 0.08 because here it's already on the calculator you don't need to convert it to decimal you use the percent like that but on excel you need to convert it to decimal then we have uh, the period is 30 30 and so compute future value fv you press you can see the answer 226,566.42 cent you can see the answer is confirmed so that is how we do with those ones uh, so you can see here clearly I have demonstrated the one in red is the answer so we'll go further so so far we have looked at uh, ordinary annuity if you are doing annuity deal the system is quite different I will demonstrate using Excel uh, because the first payment is going to earn additional interest if it's with formula, you have to multiply with additional factor of 1 plus R. So, for annuity due, ordinary annuity, the answer you have, you have to multiply it by additional 1 plus R. So, with financial calculator, you need to switch it into due or beginning mode. With my own financial calculator, I don't know how to switch it to that mode for now. So, whatever you do, we we'll just multiply it by one plus r now this is a timeline showing uh, annuity due so you can see there is payment at the beginning of the period so this is how the and the payment at the beginning of the period will earn interest so if you are using excel you use this type type so if it is annuity due the type is one if it is ordinary annuity the type is zero but the ordinary annuity is already set as default on excel that is why we have not been putting it so let's take one example and do and see suppose an annuity due has five years monthly payment of four thousand you can see it's clearly stated that it's annuity due ish and the relevant discount rate is 15 percent monthly you understand the payment is monthly and the percent is monthly there is no need to convert it what is the present value and what is the future value 
So using formula, you can see the same formula, but we are multiplying by additional 1 plus R. So if you put all the value, you have uh, 170, 240. For future value, if you put all the value, you have 3587262. So we'll go to our Excel to demonstrate this. You understand? So let's go to our Excel to demonstrate present value and future value of an annuity due. For future value, this is the table. We have also table for future value of an annuity. Then for the solution to those questions we give, let's do present value first. For present value, these are our uh, parameters. Parameters. So if we come here, we say equal present value rate. Our rate is this comma. Our period is 60. Our period is 60. Is it 60? Five years monthly payment. Yes. Five times this is 50. Is 60. Comma. Our payment is 4,000 every month minus 4,000 comma no future value another comma now you see this dialog box zero if it is at the end of period one if it's at the beginning of period so we'll put one that is at the beginning of the beginning of period and press enter so you can see the answer the answer is the same as this this is the answer you can see it clearly they are the same so for future value the same thing this is present value this is future value let's see we use the fv function equals to fv our rate our rate is this 15 percent monthly i think this rate is not correct this rate is not correct. 15% monthly. The rate is already monthly. It's not 15% per annum. Monthly. No rate of 50. I think it's correct. It's correct. Comma. The period. The period is 60. Comma. The payment is minus. Do not forget. Excel, remember payment as outflow anything outflow you put negative comma then another comma the type is one press enter so three five eight seven two six point seven six so let's look at the answer so the answer is correct the answer is correct then um, that is a uh, for an etidium. Now we we'll just look at perpetuity. Perpetuity uh, uh, is for payment that continue forever. You understand? So it's called perpetuity because the cash flows are perpetual. Perpetuity are also called consoles, as we will see later when we are discussing bond. To get the present value of perpetuity, since the T is to infinity you just c divided by r so an example is if an investment offer a perpetual cash flow of 500 dollars every year the return you require on such an investment is eight percent what is the value so the value of this is just the payment 500 divided by the rate which is six thousand two fifty and note that you can only find present value of perpetuity you cannot find future value because the future is forever. You don't know the future. So we can demonstrate those even in Excel. If you go to our Excel, all you do, the perpetuity has no function, but you can easily, you can easily, what we do is you just use the Excel to do the division. So this is exactly what we have done here. If we see a post to C, what is our C, which is payment, divided by 
R, which is this, enter. So that is how we got the value. So this is uh, the lecture on the discounted cash flow valuation. We have some exercises here. Please, you should try to use all the methods we have. Uh, yes, so thanks for your time and thanks for listening. I hope you will understand this thing that we are teaching. So thank you. Bye-bye for now.